Hello world, Noah here. Welcome to the next episode of Django by Example. In this episode, we're going to talk about simple template inheritance. Basically, um, we want to create a header that will show up on all of our pages. Uh, and instead of copying and pasting the same code a bunch of times, we can make it a lot simpler. So basically what I want to do is I want to take this H1 that says programming database and then the uh, horizontal line just like that and then maybe a line break too and I want that to appear on every single page it's a really simple title um, but you know maybe you want to style it or add you know things in the at the top right like logging into an account logging out whatever features but the idea is we don't want to have the same exact HTML on every single page because right now I would have to copy this and paste it here and maybe I'll just change this to an H2 so it looks a little bit nicer. But if I go to Java, you'll notice I have the same uh, the same header up here. But I had to copy the code. And if I had a third page and a fourth page and so on and so forth, then it would start to get kind of ugly. Because if I want to change anything in the header, I'd have to go to every single page and modify it. Not good. Let's take a look at how to use template inheritance and it's actually going to make all of our templates a lot cleaner. Basically, we're going to have a base template that will contain all of the HTML code, and then we'll have different sections for the stuff that needs to change. So let's create a, uh, a new file called base.html. And we're not actually going to use this in a view. This is going to serve as our base for all of our other templates. So let's do the standard um, thing with the oops, the head and the body, just like that. And what's going to happen is all of this, this sort of skeleton structure is the same for all of our pages. The only difference comes in the title and the contents of the body. So we're basically going to define this base and we're going to create sections in the head and the body. Here's how you do it. Curly brace, uh, percent sign because we're doing some sort of an action and we're going to make a uh, section no it's not called section it is called block I'm sorry uh, we're gonna make a block which we'll call head and then we need an end block and we're gonna leave this empty because we're going to leave it up to the uh, other um, templates to fill it in and then we're going to make a block called oops, body and end block. So basically what we're saying is this is our standard template but then there's a section there's a block called head and whatever we put as the head block will be inserted into the head and then we have a body block and whatever we put in that block is going to be inserted into the body. So what this will let us do is we don't have to write doc type HTML HTML head body in every single um, you know page every single template. Here's how to switch over. Let's say we have this template and we want to switch it over to our new system. You first need to write extends and then the name base.html. So of course we use curly brace uh, percent sign and the action we're doing is called extends and we're specifying which one we're extending from. So it will basically use base but we can specify our own values for these blocks and it will use them appropriately. So we can specify the head block Note that the name matching is important because it will match this head block to this one right here. And basically whatever we have in the head, we can copy and put in there. Likewise, we're going to have the body block. And we're going to take everything out of the body and put it in there and just clean up the indentation. And we can get rid of the rest of this stuff because it's handled by the base. If I refresh the home page, you'll notice it looks exactly the same. But our template clearly looks different. Because what happens is, when we say extends base, it loads the base template. And it creates the head and body blocks. And then inside of here, I'm saying, well, the head block should have this title in it. So it's going to take that title and insert it here into the head. And then I said for the body, it should have all of this stuff. So it's going to take all of that and insert it right here inside of the body. And you can see if I click on this, uh, this arrow here for block head, it will actually take me to the block head in the index because basically we're overriding this block 
here. Let's quickly change item over to do the same thing, and then we'll actually make the change with the header so that it looks nice, or really that it shows up on all pages. So we want to extend the base just like we did before, and we're going to have our head and body blocks just like we had before. Oops. Block body and end that block. Once again, all of the stuff that belongs in the head goes inside of our head block. Let's just clean up the indentation. And everything that belongs inside of our body goes in the body block. And just to show you, you can actually do code, reformat code, and it'll clean it up for you. And we can get rid of all that HTML stuff because it's handled in the base. Now, if I go and pull this up, you'll notice it looks the exact same. There's no difference at all, right? Because it's being pulled uh, directly from the base, and it's just inserting all of this data in there. Now, why is this useful? Remember, we have this these same three lines of HTML in both of our files. So what we can do is we can take these and we can move them into the body right above that block. And then we can get rid of them here. And so what will happen is when we go to our template, it's going to take these three lines of HTML first and then whatever is in the body block. And here it's a for loop, here it's a link and an if else. If I refresh, you'll notice that once again, nothing has changed. And so it's kind of hard to explain this when nothing changes, but that's really the point. I got rid of that template, or I got rid of that h1 from both of these templates, but yet it still shows up because I moved it to the base. And since both of these extend from the base, it will show up in both of them. So that's why bases are so useful, or really template inheritance. That's why template inheritance is so useful because you can basically centralize a bunch of common, uh, like, you know, lines of HTML in one place. So for example, if you have a style sheet, instead of loading the styles in every single page, you can load it once in your base and then it'll show up on all of your pages. If you load a specific script, like let's say you load jQuery or some other external script for JavaScript, instead of having to copy and paste that line into every single file, you can put it in the base, and every file that extends from the base will automatically get that in it. So template inheritance is really, really nice. It can help you cut down on a lot of redundancy, which is really important in programming, cutting down on redundancy. So that is all for this video. We basically cleaned up our templates a little bit. We're not ever using base directly in our views, but these templates are indirectly, or these templates are using it uh, so it's being indirectly used in each of these. We are getting really close to uh, what we had in the very beginning, or to my example in the very beginning. Basically, the only thing that's missing is the category, how we had things split up into different categories. Um, and so that's what we're going to do in the next video. And at that point, we'll actually have exactly what we set out to do in the beginning. So uh, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and continue on to the next video uh, for some more Django. Bye for now.